Purpose, Beitza, Zoroa, Choroset, Maror, and of course, Matzah. Aren't I wise? I know all about Passover. We were slaves in Egypt, then Moses got up in Pharaoh's face with frogs and locusts, all, Let my people go. And then Pharaoh was like, Yo, enough already, get out of here. To honor my parents, I'll ask a question at the Seder tonight. What is the meaning of all of this? Of all the commandments and laws and traditions that God commanded you? After all, I am the wise son. I want to know. Oh, please, Mr. Wise Guy, lighten up. He drives our parents crazy. I can't believe we're still doing this. I mean, hello, pharaohs? They don't exist anymore. There was an exodus da, 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 mm, 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 movement of the people. Ba, ba, ba. We're free. Why do we need to sit around for a zillion hours every year talking about it? Mom, Dad, Aunt Ruth, what's the meaning of all this Seder stuff to you? I can't believe you would say such a thing. How pompous. <laughs> Look who's calling me pompous. If you were in Egypt, God wouldn't have freed you. Well, if you were in Egypt, everyone would have been so bored of you that they would have thrown you over into the Nile. Why, you little... Hey, guys, what's this? The Passover Seder plate, you blithering simpleton. You wouldn't understand. It's very wise. What do you do at a Passover Seder? Pretty much. You starve for a long time, and then well, finally you get to have matzo ball soup. We read together from this book that tells of our departure from the land of Egypt. There are all these arguments in there. Like, some people think there were 10 plates, and some people think there were 40, and some people think there were 50. Disagreeing is part of the learning. They're all different ways to add up to the same thing. So, they still argue about it. That's my favorite part. Oh! This is the holiday where we eat all those special foods. Duh, that's every holiday. It's not about the eating. It's about the symbols. The charoset is a tasty way to remember the bricks and cement our ancestors mixed. The bitter herbs are about... Bitterness? Oh, my stars and garters. Well, he's right. I like eating. It means we're free. I suppose that is a sign of freedom, sitting around and enjoying a meal with the family. And showing off with the questions we ask. Hey, what about Junior? Uh, dudes, is it another holiday already? Whoa, I can't believe he even came tonight. Yeah, he never shows up. I'm jealous. I bet he doesn't even know how to ask a question. Why don't we show him? You could ask, why is this night different from all other nights? Or, how can we sit here and celebrate freedom while there is still slavery and suffering in the world? Or, where's the challah? How about, why don't we have any sisters? <laughs>